Hi there. What are we going to learn today? We are going to learn on how to use a proper sewing machine belt for the proper pulley that you have on your sewing machine. Here's a combination belt. Here is a V belt. V as in Victor. And then here is a timing belt or a lug belt. Here is a V belt pulley and here is a lug pulley. Now for the video. Why am I making this video? I have seen so many sewing projects that people were um, on, a, on advice on how to change out their sewing machine belts that they were actually installing them wrong. So this is a short simple video on how to install and get a correct belt. First of all let's talk about the two different types of pulleys. You have this flywheel has a lug pulley and as you can see it has it's all flat right there where their belt would go. Okay, This pulley here is a V pulley, V belt pulley. And you see the difference in the two? Okay, naturally they'll take two different type of belts. Okay, this timing belt okay, is flat on one side and it's there's no bevel in it and it's just a, a belt with lugs in it and it just fits into your pulley just like so. Okay. This is what they call a timing belt and this is lugs. When you buy your belt, you're going to have to go to your, your sewing machine for your specific model and it will tell you what, what belt you need. Okay. The V belt is where, where a lot of people are getting this wrong. Okay. A V belt fits in a pulley and it draws the, the if I, I cut this one in half because it's a bad belt, but if I put th this pulley in there and if you could look, let me see if I can get this to focus right because you need to, un this is the most important thing to understand here about V belts, even with fan belts on the cars. There we go. You see that gap at the very bottom of the of the of the pulley and where the belt's not hitting okay the belt is only sitting on the side right here on the side this side and this side of the pulley but you see that light right where my finger is at that right there is the most important thing you need to know this is a proper size belt if your V belt touches the bottom of, the, of that groove you got the wrong size belt because the because the V belt is designed to work off the side of the of the of the belt and not the bottom part and not this bottom part right here okay it is it's bad it's all, it works off the bevel that's where it gets its its grabbing it that's where it grips the pulley is on the side where the lug, naturally, it gets its its force from being lugged in there, you know, by the lugs fitting inside these tooth. Okay, that's 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 obvious. Here's where our, here's where we go wrong. Here's where a lot of people are going wrong. Okay, we have a pulley. Now we got a belt that has teeth on both sides. And I seen a video where a woman was explaining on how to change a belt. And she goes, well, they have a they have a new type of belt now. It has teeth on both sides. So you just put it in there. You just put it in there. And then you just adjust it. Okay. Well, this is a combination belt. Okay. Um, one side is used for lugs. The other side is a V-belt. This side that I have on the inside loop is set up for lugs, 
okay? And if you look on how it sits in the groove, you see those lugs sticking up like that? And of course, I'm not gonna cut this belt in half, but, but I think I could do it this way. Yeah, let me do it this way. But you see how it doesn't even fit in there. All you're doing, you're just grabbing the very, very top portion of the points here, okay? The very top portion. And it's you're not grabbing anything. And when it sits high in the when it sits high in the pulley like that. Let me get it in there. Yeah, when it sits high in there like that, you see how high that belt sits? That's wrong. And I see a lot of sewing machine flyweights with the belts installed just like this. That's wrong. Okay? Because this is this this side here is for the timing. All you have to do is flip your belt around around, and then on the inside loop right here, you can actually feel the bevel. Okay, with your fingers. Okay, now if I put that inside the pulley, now you see how nice and flush it fits. That's what it should look like. Okay, and uh, which you can't see, but there is this 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 belt right here does not touch the bottom of the groove. Now you see some different V-belts where, they, where, where they're not lugged like these are. And why are these lugged? They're lugged so they could last longer because with the, when they go around a small end of a pulley, pulley, they could go around a smaller, a smaller portion of it and they don't have what they call um, um, material wear, where if this was a, if this was a solid V belt, where these come together, the belt fibers would rub against one another because of the tight turn of the small pulley. So they just cut notches in these belts, so they could go use it. So you could put it around a smaller pulley, but on doing so. And just by law of physics, just by cutting these notches off, you are um, also limiting your surface area that you're grabbing the pulley. So these will tend to slip more than a standard V belt. You know, the one that's solid that's solid without without these teeth. Um, but they won't last as long as these. So it's a give and take. You know, you want it to last longer or you want a belt that grabs better. So the choice is yours. But I hope that made this 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 understanding about these kind of this combination belt. Uh one side is beveled, which happens to be the inside here. And like I say, all you gotta do is just take and feel it. And then the other side, this side here on the outside now, is used if you were had a had a lugged uh, timing timing pulleys for something for your uh, zigzag or whatever.